Anyways. Yeah. Yeah. Hello and welcome to the Admins View. I'm Krista. I'm Michael. And I'm Christopher. So today we are going to talk about something that everybody can relate to. You know, you're your kids, teenagers, adults, business people, everybody. Social networking. Oh, interesting. Yeah, what we are. <laughs> oh, oh, just everybody but Chris can relate to it. I'm just kidding. Yeah, my, my teenage daughter, she gets on her Twitter and Facebook all the time, so I'm, I'm, I'm aware of what it Always is. Always on the Twitter, exactly. right? Exactly. I'm yeah. on Facebook right now, actually. Oh, look at you. Come on. We're having a live show. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, what? <laughs> Mike's an addict. <laughs> well, Mike, can you tell us a little bit about social networking theory? Of course. Well, of course, today we're talking about social networks. We'll work there, and there are two things you need to know. Uh, essentially, the most important things you know there are nodes, which are like people like you and me, and of course, ties, which in other words are connections. Um, of course, in the day and age of social media, um, yes, what's interesting about social network theory is that it's it's starting to take uh, the power the power of individuals like people who have set skills or are really good at something, and it's given more power to those who have really good connections. Um, so as as the years go on, you're going to see that how much of an impact the social network theory is going to be. Because even though you have the skills to do something, um, it won't really help much unless you know the right people. And in a nutshell, that's um, what it's going to be like in the future. Um, there, of course, there are three types of uh, social networks. There's at the micro level, as if like out you and me, friends, talking to family, and of course, then you have your meso level, which is basically like organizations, your workplace. Then, of course, you have the micro, the macro level, which is kind of like um, social events, things like that. If you're pushing elections, of course, uh, Obama's uh, running again, so that would be like uh, more of like a macro networking, and those are some things that are related to it. So I guess right now you could kind of say we're in between micro and meso because we're friends. Uh, exactly. <laughs> and, and we're coworkers. Exactly. Right? So we're we're friends and we're in, we're kind of working in an organization. So that's uh, essentially what uh, the basic basics of social network theory is all about. Very nice. Well, that explained a lot, actually. So Thanks kids, yeah. Us in. So kids, remember micro, meso, and not macro. macro. <laughs> there we go. Yay. <laughs> well, um. I'm going to talk about the emerging trends in social media. Um, right now, the biggest trend is real-time web, which you can see with like your daughter on Twitter. Um, Facebook now has the live feed, which is kind of stalkerish and creepy, <laughs> but it's right on the side, and you can see everything that everybody does. So every time that Mike likes a picture, it's going to come up on my live feed. Every time Chris comments on somebody's status, I'm going to be able to see it. So it's basically, you can see what people are doing in real time. It's not just about, you know, hey, he posted on my wall three hours ago. It's like, oh, he posted right now, and I can see that he posted. Oh, wow. It's all the network going on. People don't have any privacy no more. Right? <laughs> it's, it's getting a little stalkerish right now, Facebook. You're getting a little stalkerish. But it's cool. Also, it's not just for social media. You can use, like, Twitter. Is a, lot, a lot of times it's used for news um, during the Dallas Tornadoes. I don't know if you guys heard, Twitter was used a lot. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it helps a lot. I mean, Twitter, I know I use that to, uh, to read my news, actually, because it gives me an update feed of what's currently going on. Yeah, so. and it looks like a little better like than just reading a long article. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So, um, I don't know. I use Twitter. I follow my favorite do, do band. Do you have a um, I do have a Twitter actually. It's good for. Uh, Why are you know, we not following sports. each other? Oh, you don't, you want to follow me? I, there's no there's nothing going on in my life. Don't worry. I think I just got a new wow. follower, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Building my social network. Wow. I guess I need to sign up for one. You right? should. You do. I mean, get on with your daughter. Exactly. You and your daughter can tweet at each other. And start your network. You yeah. gotta start now. I prefer a nice picnic, guys. <laughs> nice picnic. <laughs> Well, we're moving away from that now. You gotta get with the times, the trends, the emerging trends. Exactly. I guess I'll give it a shot. You should, because Twitter, I mean, you can, it's mainly like for social things, but a lot of people, you can put the hashtag. Oh, yeah, the hashtag. Pound sign what, what is a hashtag? I know, I know. Oh, there's, there's so much hashtag here, the old what man. What is a hashtag? <laughs> Social networking is, is getting so much out of control that uh, Twitter and Facebook are like slowly messed from that one. People are hashtagging on their statuses. It's and I'm like, that doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean anything. I don't even know what hashtagging is, but I'm sure that's well, okay, for another Okay, for example, day. let's say that people were watching Admin's View, which a lot of people are. You could, you could hashtag, which is the pound sign, Admin's View. And then you can click on that and see what everybody else is saying about the show. Oh, that's how it works. Yeah, so wow. like if you're watching... Uh, 
it's a lot of times used for like politics. Like right. you can like hashtag Obama and see what people are saying about Obama. So I watch a show called Dexter. So if you're saying if I hashtag yes. Dexter, yes, I get all the. But everybody's hits. saying about Dexter. Yeah, wow. exactly. Is it, see? It's an amazing thing. It is. There's so many things you can do on Twitter, that not just cool. not just tweet about how you're eating a hashtags. sandwich. It's all about hashtags now. Okay. And um, now we're moving into location-based um, apps and chat rooms and all kinds of things like Foursquared. I don't know if you guys use that. Not so much. I don't want to know where I where I don't personally <laughs> use it either. But, I mean, it's cool. You can check in at places and see if, you know, some of your friends are at the same places or where your friends are at. I mean, I, I guess it's a little bit stalkerish also. But it's cool because you get to base your social media off of location. It's not just off of, you know, having a profile page right, or something. Of course. Yeah. So, and I don't know where I'd be without my GPS or where I'd be without my places app, where I can find restaurants around where I'm at based right. off my location. Like that's just so useful. It's amazing what things have done, what technology has done. Right. And also social media, it's a lot with kids and you know the younger generation, but businesses use it too. Right. So right. cloud computing is really big right now. And a lot of businesses are combining cloud computing and social networking. So they're, they're helping people connect, not through just social interests like movies, music, Right. you know, mutual friends. They're having people connect based on similar business interests. Business needs. Right. So that that would be like LinkedIn. Right. You can put like, you know, where you work and what your title is and you can see other people that have that same title. Right. So you can find people who are like MIS people or who are business analysts and you can, you know, connect with them based on that. Right. And also companies are seeing that social networking sites such as Facebook and Twitter are good to get their name out. And this lady, I'm not going to get her name wrong, so I'm going to have to read it. Jody Nimitz, she's the author of Marketing Jive. She found that there's five major uses for businesses in social media. One was to create brand awareness. Two was for an online reputation management tool. Three was for recruiting, which I think we all have experienced that. A very useful tool. To learn about new technologies and competitors, because I think to be a business nowadays you have to be comp competitive technology-wise. And as a lead generation tool to inter inter <laughs> <laughs> intercept potential prospects. So, you know, sometimes there's places on websites where you can comment about a product that was just released. So they're using social media, but they're also helping themselves out by seeing what they could improve on or what people really want to see, what their consumer base really wants. Right. So that's what gotcha. business is really using social media as well now. That's good. That's yeah. good. That's, I mean, that's, all, that's, that's all my merging trends, really. But, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm going to talk about, you know, it's not going to be as high tech like you guys, you know, hashtag. Older generation over you here. Know, gotcha. I'm going to write straight gotcha. dictionary. <laughs> all right. And. You know, Webster. Everybody knows Webster, right? You know, yeah. The older generation. But you know, it's okay. So, so Webster defines network as an interconnected or interrelated chain, group, or system. Um, and it also defines theory as an analysis of a set of facts in the relation to one another. So, when you put that those two together and you include it in the social, um, you're essentially describing a network of closely connected people that may or not share common ties and how they relate to each other. Um, like I said, I'm not talking about all the hashtags, <laughs> we're just common definition. Um, so let me give you guys an example. Um, so let's say a group of friends, they're going to Red Lobster. Mm. And you know, for the very first time, yeah, I like red lobster. Yeah, me. Maybe you know, I'll, I'll hashtag red lobster. <laughs> <laughs> yes, um, I probably should. So a group of friends, never been to red lobster, goes and visit it for the first time. And let's say they order something for the menu, had a good lunch, had a good meal, and the waitress says, you know what, next time, you know, visit us on our website, you know, like us on Facebook, and you know, you'll receive a 5% discount. So of course, you know, five percent discount, everybody's gonna go for it. Of course. Mm -hmm. Um and you, cheap. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And you know, what you're doing is you're going on Facebook, you're liking these, you know, Facebook um, companies and what they're doing is Red Lobster's corporate office is gathering the information. Um, they're using that to determine demographics, location, age, food, um, what you like. 
And whether you know it or not, you just entered into a network theory. Um, just like that, just with one click. And it doesn't, it doesn't just stop there. Um, you know, you can think of it as, you know, when you go to the mall and you do those surveys, you know, for a car or maybe a thousand dollars. When you fill out those little forms, those little slips, you're entering yourself into almost like a network theory. The, the recruiters or the promotion, you know, people that advertise these, they gather your information and they create a network theory, which is, you know, they analyze, they analyze your, your facts and they, they determine trends. So, like I said, it happens a lot, and it doesn't just apply on Facebook or Twitter or, you know, <laughs> hashtags. <laughs> um, it's, it's all over, guys. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I think my definition was just, just pretty straightforward. Traditional. Traditional. Right? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, because I know I was just thinking about this. So I didn't even realize it. But you know how when you go to stores, they ask you for your zip code? They're trying you're to right. find the demogra demographic, you're right? right? Like where you're, you're at, uh, where you're coming that's, from. That's, that's a simple, simple form of network theory. Yeah. That is. Wow. That is. That's interesting. That is wow. interesting. Kids, you just learned something new today. You're welcome. <laughs> I, I learned something new. <laughs> we all learned something new, actually. I learned how to use a hashtag. So, oh, you didn't know that either? No, I didn't know, wow. actually. It was a big surprise. Not I know. Good with I, Twitter, guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's an emerging trend. So, Come on. so that will conclude today's... Um, session um, just make sure you hashtag us or yes. like us on Facebook Yay! and if you also like the slides um, just click on the link right below this video you can follow us if you want to watch it again which we know you do <laughs> 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 all right thank you thank guys. you guys thank you have Bye. a good one